Hi and welcome to Positive Social Skills. So have you ever been in a conversation with someone and felt like they weren't really listening to you? Maybe they were looking at their phone or nodding their head absent-mindedly. It's frustrating, right? Well, the truth is, we're all guilty of doing this from time to time. And why is listening so important? Well, let's find out. But before we start, I ask that you make a comment. Tell me what you want to hear me talk about. Anything in relation to positive mindset, positive behavior management, positive parenting, positive classroom management, anything like that. Tell me how you'd like my videos. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share them if you do like them. Active listening is an important skill that helps us to build better relationships, improve communication, and avoid misunderstandings. When we truly listen to someone, we show them that we care about what they have to say, and we value their thoughts and feelings. On the other hand, when we don't listen, we risk causing conflict and misunderstandings. Have you ever been in an argument with someone only to realize later that you misunderstood what they were saying? It's frustrating and can be avoided if we take the time to truly listen. One important aspect of active listening is questioning. When we ask questions, we show the speaker that we're interested in their perspective and that we want to learn more. For example, you may repeat what they've just said to you in a question. Asking questions also helps us to better understand the speaker's point of view. By asking for clarification or more information, we can avoid misunderstandings and ensure that we're on the same page. Listening is also important in group settings. When we're part of a group discussion, it's important to listen to what others have to say before jumping in with our own thoughts. This allows us to better understand others' perspectives and it can lead to more productive and effective conversations. Everyone laughs at the idea of putting their phones together in social group settings, but in reality it shows a communal acknowledgement of how each member of the group or friends are valued. Physical signs, rather than just switching off and putting the phone away, are great reassurers and adds to the fun that is generated when out with our friends. In group settings, questioning is especially important. When we ask questions, we can help to clarify different perspectives and ensure that everyone has a chance to be heard. This can lead to more productive and effective conversations. We should ask questions that encourage others to share their perspectives. We should also avoid leading questions or questions that make assumptions. Unfortunately, in today's world, it's easy to get distracted and not give our full attention to the people around us. We're often glued to our phones, checking social media or responding to messages. But when we're constantly distracted, we miss out on important information and opportunities to connect with others. Listening is especially important when we're talking to people who are older or have different life experiences than we do. These individuals have a wealth of knowledge and wisdom to share and will only benefit from it if we take the time to truly listen to what they have to say. Questioning is also important when talking to people who are older or have a different life experience than we do. By asking for their perspective and advice, we can learn from their wisdom and gain valuable insights and hopefully stop us from making the same mistakes that other people have already made. So, how can we become better listeners? Well, first, we need to give our full attention to the person we're talking to. This means putting away our distractions actively engaging in the conversation and maybe even looking them in the eye which for some people with particular disorders is a difficult thing to do. We should also ask questions and seek to understand the other person's perspective. In group settings we should avoid interrupting and take turns speaking. 
We should also be open to different opinions and perspectives and avoid jumping to conclusions. When talking to someone who is older or has a different life experience, we should show respect and curiosity. We can learn so much from these individuals if we're willing to listen. And when someone is going through a difficult time, we should offer our support and listen with empathy. This means putting aside our own opinions and truly trying to be empathetic to others. We should offer our support and ask questions that show that we care. This means asking open-ended questions that allow the person to share their feelings and thoughts. When we listen with empathy, we show that we care and that we're there for them. This can make all the difference in helping someone feel heard and supported. But listening is also important to developing a positive and abundant mindset. When we listen actively, we open ourselves up to new ideas and perspectives that can help us grow and learn. By listening to different perspectives, we can expand our own understanding of the world and see things in a new light. This can help us to break out of our own limited thinking and open ourselves up to new possibilities. When we listen to others who are offering support or encouragement, we can also begin to develop a more positive mindset. By hearing positive affirmations and feedback, we can start to build on our positive lives and make others feel positive around us, adding to everyone's positive mindset. When we are preparing to listen actively, we may ask if we are unsure whether the person wants advice, a conversation or just an empathetic ear, so that we can avoid any misunderstandings or negative feelings of the speaker feeling controlled. So remember that we always need to show the right type of listening so that everyone can feel positive at the end. Remember, positive mindset leads to abundant mindset. We must be more active in our listening to help us grow in all areas of our life. So next time you're listening to someone, be active and consciously present in the conversation. You never know, you just may hear that bit of the puzzle that opens up your whole future. Positive and healing thoughts and love and light to you all.